Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Again, we're doing the chapter seven theory, uh, discounts, trade and cash, and this is the second video of however many videos I'm going to make. And so let me uh, move on to the correct slide. Okay, so we're picking up with um, single trade discounts. Now, discount, I mean, you know, on the slide here, I, I put, you know, no different than what you learned about in percents in their applications. So it, a single, and single meaning one, trade discount is what we talked about in the last video. I mean, if I had $100 and, you know, as a diagram, again, this is 100, and that is equivalent to 100%, okay? So I have 100% over here. And if uh, I have a 20% discount, right? So that's minus 20%. That means I should have 80% left over. So if I take 20% of the dollar amount, which would be $20, right? That means I have a remaining amount of 80%. You know, these are, you know, these are all equivalent um, to these, okay? So with a single trade discount, that's what we're talking about is there's only one discount amount. Okay. whatever amount that is, right? And back in my diagram, that's 20%, and the remainder here is 80%. Okay. So a single trade discount, like I said, you know, look, you can watch the percents and applications, pro, you know, videos and do all of those homework problems, and you already know this. It's just one discount amount. You know this from just shopping in a store. You know, you see something off for 20%. You see something off for 10%, and whatever... No, that's not a percent. That's a dollar amount there. So whatever um, you know your you know your final amount is, then you take your six percent tax, and that would be in this case here four eighty, right? And of course four eighty plus the eighty dollars means I would end up paying eighty four eighty. Okay, so simple, right? I don't really think too many people have a problem with this. But now let's move on to our chain discounts. And this I see happen uh, you know, quite a few times because whether people are risk adverse or whatever, uh, you know, I don't know. But um, we're talking about chain discounts. You know, and you can, uh, chain discounts means like, let's say I had, um, let's say I had 20% off and then an additional 10% off and then an additional 5% off, okay? Um, let me just quickly look in the textbook here, and maybe I might use, okay, so they were using, uh, I'll use the numbers in the in the textbook, okay? So that was 10%, 20%, then 15%, and then uh, 10%. Meaning, you know, it's a chain discounts, and the way you think about chain discounts can be something like this: um, you uh, start out with a, uh, a dollar amount, and you know that's the retail price. And let's say today there's going to be a, you know, twenty percent off sale. Okay. However, if you buy um, five of them. Um, will give you an extra, you know, 15% off. And if you buy 10 of them, 10 more, you'll get an extra 10% off. So it's like a percent on a percent on a percent. What ends up, what students do in the long way, which is a lot of basic math, addition and subtraction, all right, is they start out with, let's say, I'll use the example in the book because, um, uh, I, they already have the numbers there and I don't have to be calculating them. It, they start out with 15,000. Well, I end up taking off 20%, which is 3,000, okay? And so I can subtract that from minus the 3,000, and that gives me 12,000, okay? But now that I've taken the 20%, I, I could take the 15%. So I multiply the 12,000 by 15%, and that gives me an additional $1,800. So I could take the 12,000 and subtract 1,800, and that gives me um, 10,200. 
And since now that I've taken the second, disc second discount, I can take the third discount of 10%. So I multiply the 10,200 by 10% and I get uh, $1,020. So I could take so I take the ten thousand two hundred and subtract the one thousand twenty, and I end up with a final amount of nine thousand one hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. You know that's the long way of doing it. Okay, you see all of the math, and it is basic math. I'll, you know what am I doing? I'm multiplying here. You know I multiply here, I subtract. I multiply, I subtract. I multiply, I subtract. But how many times have I done it? And all along the way, I could be making a mistake. Well, it's actually easier to convert these percentages. If I'm taking off, now remember, you think of it like this. If I start out with 15,000, okay, I'm going to take off a certain per, certain amount uh, in percentage, a certain percentage which translates into amount in order to end up with my 9,180. Well, we're trying to get to this number. Okay, These percentages here are this percentage right here, not not this one. Okay, This is what we want to find. Well, obviously, you know, from the previous slide or, you know, we had 100 less 20%, the reciprocal was 80%, right? Meaning, here's 100, here's my 20, and the remainder is 80. So we want to know what this amount is. These numbers are all this 20%. So we want to find the reciprocals of all of those numbers, okay? The reciprocal meaning, you know, kind of the opposite. So the opposite of... 20%, you know, is 100 minus, so I take 100% minus 20%, so I end up with 80%. 100% minus 15% is 85%. And obviously 100% minus 10% is 90%. Okay? And in decimal form, that is decimal 8, 0 decimal 8, 0 decimal 8, 5, and 0 decimal 9. So if I have the easy way to do this is notice that you can be doing this mentally. Doing the math over here is not easy mental math. Okay, This is easy mental math. I mean, if I have 20% off, I know that the opposite is 80%, which is 0 0.8. Okay? And if I know that I have 15%, I know the opposite is 85%. So I'm going to multiply by 0 0.85. And then I have 10%, the opposite is 0 point, is 90% or 0 0.9, and I'm going to multiply by 0 0.9. Now, when I multiply these three together, I come up with um, 0 0.612. Okay. That's the number that I'm going to use. Remember, I had 15,000, and I had an amount here that I don't know how much that is, but I end up with 9180. Well, this percent is, you know, this 0 0.612, well, that's the number I'm going to multiply the 15,000 by in order to arrive at the 9,180. So if I take 15,000 and, and punch it into my calculator and then times the 0 0.612, I end up with 9,180, the same number. The difference being is, is that it takes me you know, a lot less time, there's a lot less calculations, and it's easier for me to see if I make a mistake, okay? So that's why I say it's the short way of doing it. But I, ha I see so many students doing it the long way, you know, and I don't understand why they don't just learn how to do it, you know, this way, using the net price equivalent, okay? Now, realize that, let me erase... Uh, this up here. So I just have um, a little bit more space. Okay. Realize that that's the net price equivalent. Okay. The price. From a percentage perspective, okay, 
now I'm converting 100% into a decimal, which is 1.000. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, you know, I'm talking about 61.2% in a decimal form, right? So I'm subtracting 0 0.612, okay, in order to get the 0 0.388. That's my discount rate, or 38.8%. That is the equivalent of these three multiplied together, okay? As the opposite that's what I uh, you know I'm deducting here okay so to keep things simple all right let me erase all of this make it all neat when you know your chain discounts whatever uh, numbers they are I mean if it was 15% 10% and 5%, okay, I just go and say, all right, that's 85%, that's 90%, and that's 95%. And when I multiply the three together, I get a, per, I get, uh, a total percentage. Um, let's see, 0 0.85 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.95 gives me 0 0.727, rounding it off here. That's the number that you'll use to multiply against whatever your retail figure is. And then that will give you uh, a final dollar amount as to, you know, how much you're going to have to pay after the discounts. Okay. So try to be using this, uh, you know, the short way, the net price equivalent rate. And of course, the single equivalent discount rate is, um, you know, the the opposite. If I take 100% minus 72.2, 7%, you know, I'm going to end up with 20, what, 28, 27.3%. Okay. So I hope you understood that. And with that, I will move on to, uh, you know, the next uh, video. Okay.